a knack for problem solving, thinking outside the box, a love for building things, and an insatiable appetite for, let's face it, crazy math, these are the core skills inherent in any proper engineer, and they serve as a core foundations at the heart of the University of Guam's newest college, the School of Engineering. Dr. Sharam Kroshwapana serves as dean. I started the pre-engineering program 1989. And that time I was just, uh, I remember I had two students or three students at the first. And then that was a non-degree program and just two years, non-degree program. And then uh, since the demand in Guam increased for engineer, construction, Navy build up, you know, all kind of stuff. And then the president told me, well, you know, uh, 2009, 2009, yeah. He asked me, put a proposal for the engineering school. That proposal became the accredited four-year curriculum UOG has today, dedicated to producing competent, capable minds, ready to tackle difficult challenges with rigid science. The new college has made history for the Mingyelao campus as it offers the very first engineering degree in the Western Pacific. And UOG's already succeeded in creating a strong pipeline that feeds back into the local community. We are Navy going to hire many of our graduates coming out. And then also consultant, they're going to hire all of them. Dr. K, as he's affectionately known to students, oversees a course of study now boasting 240 enrolled undergraduates with the first class to receive their bachelor's degrees in engineering science this fall. Initially, students focus on environmental and civil engineering, but plans are already underway to expand the course of study to other disciplines. The University of Hawaii, they're going to have a collaboration with us for mechanical engineering. And Dr. K says, the support from industry and government partners hungry for talented engineers to work on and ultimately solve complex challenges with science has been constant. Looking at the overall value to the community, it's a small and worthwhile investment they make with a payoff that is tenfold. We have a, one group, we have, we call it the School of Engineering Advisory Council. The member of the, this committee, these are all the consultant in Guam, engineering consultant and also uh, government of Guam and also the military. And these are helping us a lot. And this all comes full circle as we celebrate UOG's 53rd Charter Day in 2021, relative to the theme, Transforming Lives, Advancing Communities, as the engineering program is proudly propelling us into the future and fostering innovation in a new and exciting way, creating new opportunities for all Guamanians who want to buckle down, work hard, crunch numbers, and make their island community better. At UOG now, when, you know, you have to be the level, everything is going up, the level of education, because you have to, you know, to math, to physics, to this, this. So it's affecting on everything. So bravo to you, Dr. K. Congratulations to the first class of UOG engineers and Biba UOG Charter Day. Reporting for KUM News and representing the UOG class of 1996, I'm Jason Salas.